So you can use a, a, a tool called Tinkercad.com uh, to slice 3D objects. It's really a 3D object creation tool. It's a CAD program, computer-aided design. Uh, when you log in, um, so if I log out, it's owned by Autodesk, a really good company that does uh, some of the industry-leading uh, CAD design programs. Uh, if you just do sign in with Google, it'll create an account for you. The first time you'll have to allow some certain things, but um, as you go in, it'll take you to probably the first time you're in there, it'll take you to a learn page and want to put you through some tutorials. Uh, but uh, once you're in, you have your own design. So I'll open this one up. So if we wanted to uh, use this to slice and visualize uh, 3D objects, uh, there's a lot of 3D objects over here. Uh, and to be honest, you just kind of drag it out. Uh, so I can drag this one out. I can resize it however I want. Um, to get the sliced view, though, what you want to do is combine it with a hole. Uh, so you have to kind of cut it in half. So I'm going to take a box, uh, and this is a hole. So you can have solids, and you can have transparent holes. Uh, you can change any of them. So I can have a, a solid one and change it into a hole if I want. So it's not limited to the ones that are over here. But if I want to take a sliced view of this, uh, let me just create this hole. Just a, you know, this rectangle won't make it a hole. And I'm just not grabbing it properly. And I'll show you how I'm dragging that from this view. So I'll grab that. That's my height. So I can take this and what it'll do is create, I'll be able to slice this right down this uh, vertical line. Uh, I hold shift down. If I'm using an iPad, I just click and click. Uh, and you'll look up here, there's a group button. Uh, it's not highlighted right now because I don't have multiple things selected. So if I hold shift on my laptop, then I have multiple things selected and I can group it. And then you can see that you know, this face, once it's sliced, will be will look like that. Uh, if I undo that, if I wanted to, to look at it from more of a top-down, I guess, perspective, uh, I can move this on the Z-axis and lift it up. So if I wanted to kind of cut it that way, now I can drag and drag up. So same thing. Hold Shift down, group. And now I look at that view, or I can look at this view. Uh, if I have different objects, like a cylinder. So I know a cylinder looks really cool. When we slice it, I'll make this a little bit bigger so we have something to work with. I'll get another box out. And I'll just resize this. I guess it's not, I didn't really make that a cylinder anymore, but that's all right. It is, but just oblong. All right, hold shift, and now we can look at that face and see that it's just a rectangle. Uh, let me know if you need any more suggestions than that. But again, Tinkercad's a, a really good way to look at uh, objects, three-dimensional objects, when we slice pieces of them. Uh, so you can do it with any of these. Enjoy.